Hello, hello. So, today we are going over how to get yourself ready for rigging. We're going to cover the basics of live 2D cubism. This will include how to export your model from Clip Studio Paint, how to organize live 2D sections, how to import your model into live 2D. I'll provide a brief rundown on the live 2D sections, setting up keyboard shortcuts, setting up clipping masks, organizing parameter folders, exporting and importing preset parameters and physics settings, and finally, organizing warp deformers. This will then lead on to our next video where we learn how to rig the eye. If you haven't checked out my previous video, feel free to do that now. The previous video gives you a rundown on the design, handy tips and preparation for your model. So let's get into it. So we've got our model here, all drawn and separated and organized. What we want to do is go file. We want to select save as. I'm going to call it ready for rigging. And under the save as type, you want to select Photoshop document. Select save. And now we have our PSD file ready for rigging. We are going to open our live 2D cubism editor. And when you open up your app, it should look like this. There is a live 2D cubism manual and tutorial. And there are also sample models that you can use and they are free. We're going to select X. I have reorganized my sections. You can do this simply by dragging them like so. I have the deformer section on the left, the tool details and log up here, the parameter settings down here, inspector and project here on the right, and then the part section on the bottom right. What we want to do first is go file and open, and we're going to select our PSD file that we just saved. Now it's going to look very odd when you import it because the clipping that you did on your PSD file, uh, that is not registered, but we can fix that. I'll just explain the different sections. So to the left here, we have not created any deformers yet, so it just looks like a list of our layers. Here is the parameter section. This is where we create all our keyforms. I'll explain what those are soon. Up here is the project that you're working on and your inspector. And down here at the bottom right, this is basically how your PSD file is organized. So we can see the different folders that we made in Photoshop or Clip Studio. Just before we get started, let's go File, Settings, and go down to Keyboard Shortcuts. We want to select Show, and here I have bound the H key to hide selected state. This will help you later on, and I'll explain why when we get there. And then select OK. OK. OK, I know that these clipping layers are annoying you. They're annoying me too, so let's fix those. You can select a layer by clicking on it. You can also right click and go object at cursor. And you can see a list of everything that is underneath your cursor if you're struggling to select on the layer that you're wanting to. So this big brown circle, this is actually a clipping layer that is meant to go on top of my face line. 
because I changed the color of it. So let me just show you what I want clipped. I want this face line to be lighter. So I drew a big circle, a light brown one over top, and I added it as a clipping mask. So we want to get the face line, the clipping ID of the face line. And copy and paste that into the layer that you want clipped. And now the face line is lighter. So I'm going to go to face line. I'm going to copy the ID. So control C, go to the layer that you want clipped, go to clipping ID, control V, and there we go. So I want all of my facial features to be clipped to my face skin, such as my mouth, nose and blush, and eyebrows. So I'm just going to go ahead and clip all those to the skin. And to add a clipping ID to multiple layers, you can click on one, hold shift, and click on another. Or you can hold control and add them that way. And then copy and paste the skin ID. And that's done. I just like to do this one section at a time. And I'm going to now go through the rest of my body. I'm going to see what else needs clipping. So I can see that my sleeve needs clipping to my forearm. And we're going to just slowly tidy up our model. I'm now going to go to my ears. So I'd like the fluffy and the shading to be clipped to the back of the ear. So this colored area. So we key bound the H key before, so now we can press that and we can hide what we have selected. We'll press it again and it brings that red border back again. An important thing to remember is to go file and save or you can just go control S and we're going to just save our file. Now onto the parameter section. So. These here are a list of default parameters that Live2D have created. We don't want to delete any of these. These parameters are basically already tied to the physics on VTube Studio. So we don't want to mess with these, we'll keep them here. A video that I found really helpful for organizing your parameters and their folders was Chipiku's video on expressive eyes. So what we're going to do is create a folder and double click to rename. We're going to call this angles and we're going to organize some of these pre-made default parameters. So the angles, we're going to just throw them in here. 
I'm gonna create one for the eye. And we'll just put in the eye ones. And we'll do it for the rest of these. So we'll go brow. We'll type in mouth. And breathing. How you organize these parameters is up to you. This is just personal preference for a way to make it easier to locate your parameters, especially when it comes to the physics menu. So now that we've got our folders, what you can do is right click and you can select the group color and we can just make it rainbow. This is just another neat way to add some organization to your rigging. I've already made a model in the past, so I already have parameters made. So what I'm going to do is, uh, you can actually skip this step of creating these folders. If you import folders or your preset parameters from your previous model, you can also do this for your physics settings that you've already made. So basically when you make models in the future, this will be a good future reference. You won't have to do all of this again in terms of organizing your parameters and your physics settings. So for example, this is my older model here. We're going to go modeling, bulk settings of model parameters, and we're going to export the old ones. I'm going to save it to the same folder that I have my uh, VTuber PSD file in. I'm going to do the same thing for my physics. We're going to export preset and save. Great, so now we have our physics and our parameter settings saved. But of course you can skip this step if you haven't made a VTuber model in the past. So I'm going to now import those presets that I've made on my other model. So we're going to go to modeling, bulk setting of model parameters and import. I'm going to delete all existing parameters before performing. I'll select the one that I just exported before. Great. So I'm actually just going to go through and recolor these. I've just color coordinated them. As you can see, there are a lot of folders that I made on my previous model. I may not use all of them, but I have them here. And now this time round, I can keep adding to these folders and editing them. And I can later on go to bulk settings and export them and overwrite my previous uh, parameter presets. So I have a lot of folders here. Uh, try not to feel overwhelmed. Uh, this is a lot. Um, you don't have to copy all of these right now. We'll just start on one section at a time and build yours up as we go along. And we'll go through it when we rig together. So now that we have our parameters organized, we are now going to organize our deformers. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our deformer section on Live2D. And we're going to organize all of these into their own warps. If you have the free version of Live 2D, you will have a limited amount of warps. So you can skip this section for now. However, I have the paid version and you might have the free trial of the paid version. So we can go through and just organize these to make it easier to rig. And for Live 2D, things get very complicated. You're going to want to uh, have things organized, trust me. Let me show you the hat. I'm just going to put this hat into a deformer of its own. So we select these, go up here to create warp deformer. I'm going to call this Bumble Hat. Great, so now that is in its own section.
and we're just going to do that for um, all of our sections. So we're going to organize the hair. So this is going to be the fringe. These are going to be my piercings. These are going to be the ears. Again, I like to use arrows. So that is all organized now. Perfect. Okie dokie. So next, let's say you forgot something. Oh, oopsies, I forgot my mustache. So let's just quickly draw up a mustache. So um, we'll just uh, squibbly do. We got our mustache. Okay, so what we want to do is just simply save it again and I'll just save it as a Photoshop document. So open your editor, I'm just going to open my recent file and what we do now is we go up here, file, open and then open that Photoshop file. Select Replace and what that will do is you'll then have your moustache layer imported into Live 2D and you will still keep all of your other layers and your parameters if you have created any. I hope this tutorial was helpful, please stay tuned for our next videos. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, comment any questions you have down below. I just want to say thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you. And let's keep knocking out this project together. Give yourself a pat on the back. Grab yourself a coffee. You've done good. And stay tuned for the next video. Bye. Peace.